How have you questioned this about Harry Potter? Does Harry have two souls? If the Dementor can suck a soul out of a body, why wouldn't Dumbledore use this to suck Voldemort's soul out of Harry? And if Dementor is succeeding in absorbing a soul from Harry, which one would it be? Have you thought about this in Harry Potter? Voldemort could have easily defeated Harry in multiple occasions if he only had taken off Harry's glasses because Harry can't see anything when he takes off his glasses. Have you questioned this about Harry Potter? We all know that Peter transformed into his animagus form and escaped after the murder of the Potters to become Percy Weasley's pet rat. But it was never explained in the movies nor the books how exactly Peter did end up with Percy. Have you questioned this about Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince movie? The Death Eaters launched an attack on the Weasleys and they destroyed the beloved house. It's something that never happened in the book. And this decision, why thrilling to watch, seems pointless when you see the barrel looking exactly like it always does in the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Have you questioned this about Harry Potter? In the Half-Blood Prince movie, one famous landmark was destroyed in the opening scene was London's Millennium Bridge. Given that the Harry Potter films use the same timelines as the books, that would make it a year 1996. The Millennium Bridge, however, wasn't constructed until 1998 and it wasn't opened until the year 2000. Have you questioned this about Harry Potter? Ollivander loses money on every wand he sells. A unicorn here costs 10 gallons, while a wand from Ollivander, some of which contain unicorn here, will only cost you 7 gallons, which means Ollivander is selling his wands at a loss of at least 3 gallons. Have you ever wondered about this in Harry Potter? Ron having a dirt on his nose is because the Weasleys use the Flow Network to travel to London. Have you questioned this about Harry Potter? Crookshanks could be the Potter's pet cat. We learned from the last book in a letter from Lily to Sirius that the Potters have a cat at the time they die. There is an illustration from Pottermore that depicts the Potters with the cat, and it looks like a young version of Crookshanks. When Hermione bought Crookshanks, he knew the smell of Peter Pettigrew at will and deduced his real identity and wanted to help Sirius, as he also recognized that Sirius was James and Lily's friend. He helped him take Peter with no hesitating. Crookshanks was also very comfortable with Harry because Half measles recognize people they've met, even if it was a long time ago. Have you questioned this about Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Staring directly into the basilisk's eyes proves fatal. But why wasn't Moni Myrtle petrified instead since she was wearing her glasses? Yes, glasses don't produce a reflection like water or mirror, but it still counted as an indirect stare because the glasses were a barrier between Myrtle's eyes and the monsters. Have you questioned this about Harry Potter? In the Philosopher's Stone, during Harry's journey to the plot for 9 and 3 quarters, in the book, Molly asks her children, Now, what's the plot phone number? To which Ginny replied, 9 and 3 quarters. But wasn't Molly supposed to know the plot phone since she's been taking her children there for years? Have you questioned this in Harry Potter? Fred and George stole the Marauders map from Filch office in their first year at Hogwarts and he handed it down to Harry in his third year, which means Fred and George had the Marauders map during Harry and Ron's first three years at Hogwarts. So why Fred and George never noticed on the map a guy named Peter Pettigrew sleeping with their brother Ron for three years?